Well, I was looking for something to film, and uh, I think I found it. <laughs> it's called, How Do You uh, Completely Change the Bedding in Your RV in a Really Small Space? Um, yeah, I no longer have a leak from outside. Uh, it's coming, you know, it's, it's, it's basically just caused by the, I believe, the condensation, you know, between... Well, it's this cold air underneath these mattresses and uh, my warm body. And I completely destroyed my futon. I have to throw the whole thing out. It was had mold in it underneath. All right, here's what happened. Here's the, here's the futon I had in there. I thought this was just ruined, but look at this. That's what happened. So I pretty much have this cleared off back here. Um, I am going to try to scrub this out. Let it sit for a little bit. That's what this stuff is for. I'm also going to be drying it out here with this heater. Um, that's the only place. And it's coming from... You know, it's coming from right down there, man. It's got it on that side too a little bit. It's crazy because it's not a leak. Um, it's simply just coming from my body. I think probably this summer this will have to be possibly reboarded in here. But for now. Just gonna let this foam sit for a little bit. Re really important that you have the windows open and they suggest that you wear a mask and gloves as well when you're doing the cleaning. And do not mix this with any, any other chemicals, man, because it can cause some toxic fumes. So yeah, I've got this place well ventilated right now. Gotta stay on top of this stuff, folks. I would suggest you check underneath your mattresses. Make sure you don't have a mold issue as well. Maybe it's just something with these old ones and or the fixer uppers or the conversions or you know, but it is a thing that really happens, especially where there's extreme temperatures, I think. And we do have this is not a dry environment, you know. Um not at all. Alright, man. I've got this futon frame here, and I'm gonna bring that into the RV as soon as the bed dries out there, as soon as that wood dries out. And we're going to try this because I think this will lift it up enough. And I'll put some something underneath this to protect this wood too. That's my idea. I already measured it out. The sun has been like that all day long. All day long. All morning long. It's only been up for a few hours. I'll take it because it was supposed to rain. And, you know, it's warming up out. It's supposed to be like 40 degrees today. Alright, so I got a little bit more room in here now to work with. This is drying out nicely in here. And the length in here is 78 inches from one end to the other there. And... The area that I sleep in, which is basically this board area here, that is about 70, or I'm sorry, that's like uh, 26 inches wide. Um, so, in the frame, the uh, futon frame is like 72 inches long, maybe, and it's a little bit, maybe 27 inches wide which would put that over at about here, which is no big deal because this is just extra space over here that I use for, you know, my little bedroom setup up here. I'm thinking that I might put this down. This is a, uh, you know, it's something, it's like a beach, it's like a beach blanket, but it's not a blanket though, you know, so it's made out of this stuff that like plastic or something but I think it's kind of got like this you know room to breathe in it so that's cool 
and then with having that futon frame which is going to be raise this up about three inches I think this will definitely be a drier situation than what I had uh, keeping keeping me off of this will be all we need to do I'm pretty sure just some space in between there you know that'll be good It's a mess in here now. I don't like it like this. Back up. Are a little crazy. Alright, I think that's gonna be perfect, man. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This will lift me off of this. There's gonna be some air that can flow through here, and there's no reason why I don't think the mattress will get wet. I don't I just don't think it'll happen now. Um, at least not for my body. That should do the job. That's perfect. And this thing is not that heavy. Um, I'm feeling really good about this. So I'm going to continue to dry out underneath here. I just want to make sure this was going to work. And I'm liking the way this looks. So this is great. Perfect. Alright, so my idea today was I was going to be waking up and doing some recording. Um working on some original music with Mikey D. We're passing things back and forth through the internet, uh, through GarageBand. We figured out how to do that, and that's been fun. Um, but we're just getting started with that, and that's what today was supposed to be about. I got up at, um, I got up at like 6 o'clock today, and, uh, you know, got my morning started, got the fire going, got my cup of coffee, sat down, popped up the track and um, then I was like you know I'll just check underneath the bed here you know I was making my bed and I was feeling underneath here and I usually only reach to about right about here you know and I reached under a little bit more and I yeah I felt that it was wet I lifted it up and there was some mold build there man build up was so I was like whoa so I just tore that up immediately first I put a couple couple soup cans underneath there and then once I got a flashlight under there and saw what exactly was going on um, I realized that that was a lost cause so I pulled that and it's been a morning of doing that but the cool thing is is that I think I figured out how to take care of this now you know um, and I had the uh, all of the extra things I needed to do it with just bits and pieces of whatever from around the house and in the garage stuff that I've just had uh, all in good shape and usable so I'm gonna make this work and you know I'm almost thinking I could dry this out faster with a hair dryer um, I think I might try that Let's see if we have a hair dryer somewhere around all right I got a hair dryer this could possibly prove to be a uh, a useful thing to have or maybe not a hair dryer but something similar I don't know what they would have in the uh, hardware store but something that you know like a heat gun yeah something like that so hopefully this will speed up the process here obviously we're going to not use this heater anymore 
and unplug that baby. All right, I dried it out pretty quickly with the uh, the hair dryer there. That worked well. Next step is to just give it a quick little vacuum with the uh, my trusty little handheld vacuum cleaner, my Black and Decker cordless lithium dust buster. All right, next step I believe is to just drop down the frame here and start putting things into place. I like how I can put this up like this if I need to get underneath here. That's easy to do. And that's really cool. And I got a little room down at whichever end I choose to... Uh, I think that I'll keep the bed frame up against this end and have that... Have this end down here be like that. Alright, should I put something underneath there? I don't know. It might just be fine like that. Hmm. Put this underneath that. It might be a good idea. I think I might try that. So I've just about got this in place here like that. I put the uh, blanket down underneath here. That's working out well. And this is cool because I pull this part back here, clean back there, but you guys can see, you can see where I keep my socks in my underwear, that type of thing. And extra towel there. But that's all storage space that I use. And I just put a long pillow over the top of that. And that also helps to keep the uh, heat in, insulates it. And it's just ins insulated with the reflectix there. Uh, it's perfect. It works out great. And it was a space that wasn't being used before uh, the way that it was originally built. But when we redid this bedroom, we uh, tore that all apart because the wood was uh, rotten in there before. Um, so I'm liking the way this is coming out. I've got an air purifier over here in the corner, which is a lifesaver, which is going to be a whole video in itself there. That thing is amazing and has uh, improved my health tremendously. You know, the, the, the air quality in here is incredible. Uh, I'm going to continue with this now. Got a big mess here. Um, but I think probably in the next hour, you know, we should have some serious progress here and have this bedroom back to uh, some kind of shape. Looking forward to that. Now, these are from the RV. These are the original cushions. And these things never molded up. These weren't for the bed. These were for the, uh, the dinette that used to be right in this area, which is no longer happening and won't be happening. So, I'm going to put these up here. And the bottoms of them have the same material. They're made exactly the same way as the original bedding. But I know that that never got uh, mildew on it. Or if it did, it was really easy to clean off. But it didn't, so. Alright, here's the frame I'll put in here. Got this how I want it. Um, they fit perfectly on the futon. Alright, I got that foam mattress in there. Perfect. It's nice and snug now. And all the pieces are coming together nicely. This keeps these these underneath from sliding. This does. It kind of holds everything in place. And I'm going to put a sheet over this one. And um, that'll be good. And I'm going to leave these open just so we can get the air in here, you know. This is going to work out well. It does raise the bed up a little bit, but you know, I still got quite a bit of height there. It's nothing like sleeping in the back of the truck where if you lift your head, you bang it. It's almost like being in a coffin. This isn't quite coffin-like. Alright, we are slowly getting there. It's taken all day, but cleaned up nice in here. Put that reflectix away. The bedroom's all cleaned up. My instruments are ready to be played. And I'm feeling good about this. 
just knowing that that is raised right there and that there's air circulating in there uh, that's a good thing you know right in there man those cracks that's huge that's good this is totally gonna work I think <laughs> anyway today's project is pretty much completed um, just got to put away a few odds and ends clean up the kitchen area a little bit here and uh, get ready for the rest of the day and I do think the Sun is gonna even make more of an appearance here it possibly could it's kind of been doing that all day long it's been doing this but you know the thing about today is that um, with the weather just as it is it allowed me to get done what I needed to get done in there wow that's really dirty dusty dusty um, you know if if the Sun had been out it would have been really hot inside the RV and I wouldn't have wanted to have been in there doing what I needed to do today so this worked out well perfect weather it's about 40 degrees and just hazy all right man peace out